Hello and welcome to my course which I title Enterprise Data Architecture Strategy Building a Metadata Repository. My name is Dan Greisenhout and I'm the author of this course. With over 35 years of professional business, IT and marketing consulting engagements behind me, I am considered to be a high-end enterprise systems architect and project manager and I've led projects globally valued in the tens of millions of dollars. Some of the Fortune level clients that I've completed work for include Air Canada and WestJet Airlines, JP Morgan Chase Bank, Gateway Inc., Ernst & Julio Gallo Wines, Blue Cross Blue Shield, TRW, the U.S. Air Force, 3M Health Information Systems, Tong Yang Insurance in South Korea, Nextel Communications, MCI, New York Police Department, Hibernia Management Development Corp., which is, by the way, a $1.2 billion offshore drilling venture, Ontario Hydro, and more. At one time, I was a senior consultant with KPMG Pete Marwick and also subsequently the national practice leader for enterprise systems architecture design projects for a 17,000-person IT consulting company called MCI System House. This course teaches the student a top-down approach to architecting business and systems data solutions by beginning with the strategic decision of building an enterprise-level metadata repository. As corporations increase in size and complexity, securing, managing, and ensuring the integrity and accuracy of internal data becomes a critical component to continued corporate growth. If a corporation is growing, there will come a time in each entity's evolution where an enterprise-level data repository becomes an integral component to the organization's information systems architecture. In this regard, this course provides the student with the knowledge required to first, justify the need for an ELDR within the corporation. Secondly, construct a set of best practices and principles for its design. Next, design and build the framework for the services that the ELDR will provide. Then, design the resulting architecture required for the ELDR. And, define the rules for the data information to be stored within the ELDR, such as a data dictionary, operational and decision support data, etc. Next, we have defining the categories of data data integrity, data security, etc. Defining the rules, processes, and structures required to check in, check out, and modify data and information stored within the ELDR, which I call the management framework, and defining the application components that will comprise the ELDR system. The course is designed to support the ongoing efforts of an IT department and its data architects and managers in designing, building, and maintaining a corporation's business, operational, and decision support information systems. It is an advanced course, most useful to database architects, senior information systems analysts, and systems development personnel. Should you take this course? Well, you decide. But I will say that this course targets those individuals already involved within the systems development arms of corporations. Those with some systems development, database design, and operations and or maintenance experience in larger corporate development environments will get the most benefit from these lectures. The course is also an excellent study area for any business or IT systems managers wanting to learn more about how strategic data related projects should be identified, defined, scoped, and undertaken. If you take this course, you should receive the following benefits from it. You will learn best practices relating to architecting metadata repositories for a complex corporation. You will learn how to implement and manage metadata repositories within the corporation. And you will learn how to implement and operate geographically dispersed metadata repositories for complex organizations. So if this content interests you, I encourage you to sign up for this experience, and I'll be looking for you on the inside. Bye for now.